Unsophisticated Whiskey. Hi, and welcome back to Unsophisticated Whiskey. I'm Boogie. And I'm T.Y. And uh, today we're going to talk about the only five whiskeys you need, according to Reddit. Uh, I feel like a lot of the whiskey YouTubers have shot this video, yeah. so we're next on the list. It's our turn. Yep. Nobody's wow. nominated us because we don't know anyone. Anymore. Right, not, not yet. Cool. Uh, we got a couple of people following <laughs> us on Instagram. We feel all cool now, but... Uh, Maybe someday. Yeah. So, what is the list? We got Daily Drinker, uh, Mixer. Impress uh, Your Guest. Impress Your Guest. Friday Night Pour. What are you going to have after a long, you know, work week? And then Special Pour. Is special that Occasion. Special Occasion Pour. Something you only reach for on, on a special occasion. Yep. All right, lead us in, brother. Right. What do you got? Let's do this. All right, my daily drinker, Jack Daniels Bonded. You don't you don't have to say much about it. It's 100 proof Jack Daniels. Uh, what? At least four years old because it's bonded, and uh, it's fantastic. It's cheap, and it's fantastic. And I thank Jack Daniels for releasing this. What last year? Yeah. Um, thank you so much for this one because I love it. I think it's something that you could. 28 35 dollar bottle that i wouldn't even be mad to mix that with something because of the price but mm -hmm. it's something you could sip on and it's 100 proofer so you're gonna you know get a good flavor profile off of it so i sip on often yes it's good it's very good it's multiple bottles we've already gone through i'm gonna go with something that's a little more pricey but you can find it everywhere uh knob creek single barrel at 120 proof uh this is one that, you know, it's 50 bucks. Yeah. Uh, it's not everybody's daily drinker price. It's mine, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but I do enjoy high proof whiskeys, and this is one that I see myself reaching for more often than not. Often, yeah. They they have these available in store picks, non store picks. It's, um, it's good pour. They're always it's a good, great. Very good pour. Uh, just the overall profile, I love it. Yep. Um, Can't keep doing it. what you're doing, Jimmy. Jim Beam with the Knob Creek. Yeah. All right. Uh, mixer. I don't do mixed drinks ever. And honestly, if I'm doing a mixed drink, it's not usually with bourbon. But I'm going to go with Flash Craig. 94 proof. Uh, robust flavor. Nice and spicy. Uh, oaky. Yeah. Getting I'd a good profile on that one. Um, stands through in a cocktail. I would have to agree. A 94 proof. Maybe lacking the proof a little bit for something mixed, but... Overall, I think it's something that everybody could enjoy. It's not just something that the bourbon drinker or whiskey drinker is going to... No, no. Yeah. It'll I go think... good in a drink for anybody. Yeah. I agree as well. And I'm going to go with the uh, classic Wild Turkey 101. This is something that I've mixed drinks with at home. Uh, during the holidays, the ladies love the uh, Blackberry Lemonade uh, Wild Turkey 101s. It's... They're, they'll creep up on you, dude. Those ones will <laughs> knock you on your ass a couple times if you uh, let them. Uh, that would have to be my mixer. It's something that you can get for 20 bucks at 101 proof. Even that Wild Turkey 81, I think, is something that would be a decent mixer. Yeah, Wild Turkey 101 is a fantastic pour, man. Yeah. It neat in a mixer, don't matter. And this was, On an airplane, Southwest, thank you yeah, for carrying that. This was T.Y. <laughs> Grandpa's bottle from the early 2000s. Yeah, uh, found that in the basement. That's pretty cool. Um, this isn't mine, but it's something that I would say is a mixer. Um, that's mine. It's a good one. Yes, it is. Impress your guest. My impress your guest bottle is a tater bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Each Taylor single barrel. Um, it's good whiskey. I don't love the whiskey. But people go crazy for it, and if you pull down the E.H. Taylor tube and pull out a bottle of E.H. Taylor single barrel, everyone's like, oh, you know, people oh, get excited. Your eyes so are bubble up. Uh, I personally love the look of the bottle, uh, the tube, everything about it just screams. I want it. Everybody, all the taters want it, bro. And yeah, I mean, when I first started out, I will admit this was a bottle that I was seeking. Uh, if I come across it. Of course, I'm going to buy it just because it is a good pour. I'm not going to lie. It's a good pour, but it's drinking out of the bottle. Comparing. I have E.H. Taylor in my glass right now. This bottle in yeah. this glass. I might like the bonded better. I don't know. I'm just, it's, yeah, okay. it's okay. But it impresses it is, people. Yes. People love it. 70, 80 bucks if you find them. I would not uh, agree with pink secondary. Thank you for fixing my bottle. 
So, yeah, I know. It'll bother you. OCD will get Yeah. Them. I kind of have my labels lined up. <laughs> I hate when I spill on my labels. That's one of my pet peeves. Like, I'll see somebody pour something, and it's just, like, running down the label, and it, like, smears it all over the place. I'm one of those guys that's got to, like, wipe it off with a towel. Get it together, bro. I know. I know. <laughs> Uh, what are you impressing your guests with? I'm going to impress my guests with, uh, four rows of single barrel, uh, barrel strength. I think this isn't for everybody. If uh, you no. know whiskey, yeah, you're going to be like, okay, this guy's got something he's going to bust out. Yeah. Well, nice whiskey. Uh, this, this will definitely impress the veterans and, uh, it would surely impress me. Yeah. And this is the OBSK, which honestly, this is the... Second time I've had this one, and I've had maybe four or five of the batches out of the ten well, recipes, I should say. And I'm loving the light spice with the high rye. Yeah, uh, the OBSK is good. The B is the high rye, and the E is the low rye, twenty percent and thirty five percent. And then I don't know. We need to shoot a video on that. I feel like I think that's something. Yeah, that, maybe. Four roses. Maybe video a short coming we'll soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of all the different recipes, we'll get all of our bottles together and. Do a video on that. But that's going to be my Impress Your Guest. All right, guys. Before we continue with this video, I, I'm asking you, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. Comment on this video. Anything you can do. Uh, it's free for you, and it helps us out a lot. Yes, it supports us. We, we appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you, guys. Everybody uh, that has already done that for us, we definitely appreciate what you're doing. Sharing the videos on Facebook. Uh, everything... You know, every comment, every like, every view helps. Friday Night Poor. I love your pick. It's such a good one. Friday Night Poor, man. Lucky 7, 15 year. Um, it could double as a special occasion pour because it's just that good. And it does hurt just that bad every time I drink it. But, man, it's so good. And I want to reach for it way more often than I should, but... You know, I don't even have one of these, and I'm sad about it. <laughs> I want to just spend the two hundred dollars on it on secondary just to have one. Um, yeah, this is one of those ones that's it's it's worth its price, very much so, and it's worth for a fifteen year old whiskey. There are price, whiskeys yeah. out there right now that are coming out eight year, nine year, ten year that are two hundred dollars MSRP. Oh yeah, well, that's even six and year. Yeah, <laughs> there's some stuff out there that doesn't even come close. to to what this is offering for the secondary price. And I would say you get a 15 or 14 year one of these for 200 yep. bucks, 190 bucks, snap it up. And it's worth. Yeah, it's worth it. Lucky seven, the proprietor. Yes. Don't sleep on those. Fantastic bottle. All right. And mine is going to be regular old uh, Jack Daniel barrel proof. Friday night pour. I mean, I can't blame you for that one. Uh, it's nothing crazy. That's you can get good, them everywhere. But good Friday night pour, though. I want a higher proof whiskey when I'm going into my weekend, you know, mm -hmm. going to sleep in a little bit on Saturday. Yep. You know, uh, this is one that we shot a video on it. It's got uh, 1.4 thousand views right now. So thank you guys for that. Uh, I think it's kind of spread like wildfire through the, you know, YouTube world. There's not a whole lot of videos. I looked them up and there's really not a lot of them on there. So I think people want to know about it. And. If you don't know about it, buy one. If yep. you're afraid of high proof whiskey because the burn, Kentucky Hug, this is something that I think it's gonna burn a little bit. When, yeah, just drink yeah, it yeah. three or four nights in a row and you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Drink a half a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll be fine. But uh <clears throat> that's gonna be something that I bust out on a Friday night and not even feel bad about. Yeah, no, that. one of the best like, bottles in the game. I would have to agree with that. Um, like I said, if you guys are sleeping on this one, don't anymore. It's definitely worth it. All right, T.Y., what's your uh... special occasion bottle? We're switching to rye, guys. I'm going to go with Batch 2 Kentucky Owl. And I'm only going with Batch 2 because that's the only one I have. Uh, I drank through a Batch 3 already. I uh, have not pulled the trigger on a Batch 4. I know where to get one still, but 300 bucks for a bottle. Special occasion or not mm. is... Rough. Even if it's 10, 11 years, man, that's still hard to... It's rough. This is 11-year yeah. ride. This one's only about 102 proof. But it's fantastic. It is. And as you could tell, I mean, how long have you had this open? It's been open... I don't know. 
Dude, year I feel and like half, it's, it's years, been open maybe. since the beginning of my bourbon journey, basically. No, I did have I had another one of these. Maybe that's why the one I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, I, I had like I've only three. had one pour out of this thing, and it's only halfway to go. I uh, only reach for it on special occasions. <laughs> is that the same bottle as that Taylor right there? Yeah, same bottle. It's the same, same bottle thing. shape. Look at that. Mm. I just noticed it because it was like in my line of sight. Off topic. Whatever. Special occasion. Yeah. Kentucky Owl. Fantastic whiskey. Used to be with Dixon Deadman. A new, new stuff? Not sure about. Haven't had any of it. Nope. But uh, don't know. Dixon's got his own thing going on now with 2XO. Um, Innkeeper. We need, we need to yeah, get Yeah, video coming soon. Uh, and then I'm going to go with the Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. You know, this is something that... I don't know, man. It's just so good. It's just so good. There's not much more to say. It's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Uh, this is one that... You know, it's hard to take a pour of this because, you know, and this is an older batch. This is batch uh, 64. This is actually TY's one. But every time I pour it, I'm like, man, that's one less pour. I yeah. Have this bottle. Uh, it is. Joseph Bang the Cigar Blend has the longest finish of any whiskey I've had. I would had. have to agree with I've you. had. Anything even over the Stag, oh, Heaven yeah. Hill, mm -hmm. the Parker. I mean... Yep. There's some whiskeys that we've had, and this one is just like overall super consistent yep. with like the different batches are going to have different flavor profiles. But as far as the viscosity, the... No, guys, it stands up. Yeah. It, it drinks well over its price, even at 180 bucks. Yeah. That's... It drinks well above its secondary price. Um, and they're dropping on secondary. Um, because there's been so many batches that have been released now. I think the last one I seen was 151. Yeah, it's getting uh, crazy. It's Nancy just pumping them out. Uh, just like Dixon, uh, Nancy Fraley, what'd you call her earlier? Nancy, Nancy the, the Nose. Nose. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic blender. She's one of the best, if not the best out there, in my, my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my, uh, special one. Special All right, guys, this is this is our list of the only five whiskeys you'll need, according to Reddit, which uh, we don't agree with. Because um, you uh, need 100. Yeah, I'm a fan Plus. of having a collection <laughs> of whiskey. So uh, yeah. thanks for watching, though. We're on Sophisticated Whiskey. Yep, I'm Buggy. I'm T.Y. Thank you, guys. See ya. Unsophisticated whiskey.